holidays are almost here. Mm-hmm. And well, everybody knows what is the most important thing about holidays. Presents and cake, but mostly presents. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So, you guys, where is mine? I knew you forgot about me. <laughs> I did a painting called Holiday Potion. Yeah, it's not what you're thinking. I'm not a witch of anything like that. I was watching this show, I think it's very old, called uh, Charm. And it's about these witches that had powers and it's kind of hypnotizing even though it's kind of ridiculous in a way because the witches have powers like the Power ran Rangers, you know, that series for kids. I didn't watch that either, if that's what you're thinking. So... What we... Yeah, so Holiday Potion, sorry, just drift away. So Holiday Potion, uh, what I wanted to do last year with that painting was to create a painting that doesn't use any of the traditional icons of the holidays. Mm -mm like Santa or a tree, but still reminds people of the holidays and brings back the holiday mood. I wanted to do a slight variation on that theme this year. Mm -hmm. I thought I would work with a similar subject and still do a bottle when, well, and various vapors of the holiday potion floating in the air. But this time, I wanted to explore the holidays from a different perspective. I wanted to concentrate on what holidays are really all about. And that is presence, of course. I wanted my painting to explore the age-old question of how to shop for presents on the budget. A very small budget. Budget of zero. Okay. Let's cut to the chase. I know you're pretty impatient, and so am I. Anyways, oh yeah, the painting today, the painting today, yeah, is about uh, getting presents for your loved ones, the loved ones you love. But this presents actually won't cost you anything, nothing at all. Good idea? Ha! Huh. Best idea, I will say. So we do the best idea dance. No, that's not it. Well, let's start with the bottle. It is red because it shows the source of our gifts. And the gift, well, the source is love. Love, of course. And we give because we love. There are actually five red bottles in the painting. They are all irregular bottles and if you step away from them, you might notice that they somewhat resemble a red bag. You know, the red um, sack or bag that Santa uses. I mean, which by the way, that uh, bag or whatever it is, doesn't, it doesn't uh, seem too practical to me. Uh, I mean, if he had a suitcase with lots of compartments and everything was there organized, every time he will need to take a toy, he will just take it, instead have to dig in and go through all his junk, I mean stuff. Yeah, some things you have junk. Not even in the trunk. And... <laughs> I don't know where that came from. Anyways, so bottom line is that I guess Hante has a kind of has a purse, but it's a men purse. The middle battle is the dominant one, and the yellow vapors of our potion here represent the best gift we can ever give, and that's happiness, of course. 
I gave this present the center stage because that's kind of the end uh, result that we want to accomplish, isn't it? Whether it's a moment or a lifetime of happiness, um, I guess that's what we all really want to give. Remaining battles illustrate some ways of getting us there. So let's see. The battle on the right has blue vapors and what? They represent the gift of time. And what I mean by this is that spending time with somebody you love, eh, that's what it's all about. The purple vapors on the left side represent the gift of moral support. And what I mean by this is that um, being supportive is, is a great gift. I believe that whether it is in a very small trivial things or support during life-changing tragedies is, is, is priceless. I mean, just knowing that somebody is on your side is, is priceless, yep. Now, the green lines represent the actual physical care. The gift of looking over somebody when they are sick or as simple as doing whatever you can so they don't get sick. And finally, the orange lines depict the gift of laughter. You can't underestimate that gift. I mean, having somebody that makes you laugh makes a huge difference in anybody's life, right? Well, this year, um... <laughs> I guess uh, with all the obsession of our presence that is all around, I wanted to create a painting that points out in the context of the holidays that we give and receive uh, much gra greater things every single day. I guess it's time to go and I will see you guys next Sunday and it's time for me to really eat my cookies I've been very very good eating lots of vegetables I feel like a treat like I'm gonna start growing things out of my ears like leaves and worms or whatever trees grow and okay let's go and eat cookies do, 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 do. eat your cookies hmm.